The honeybee, a tiny golden creature that plays a massive role in the production of most of the food we consume. And thus, if the bees go, we go too. Although sharing a common purpose, honeybees do not come from the same pot of gold. There is one particular bee that has its roots set on a small island in the Mediterranean called Malta. Beekeeping in Malta has a long and rich history that spans centuries and, without a doubt, is a traditional part of the Maltese landscape. Bees are important pollinators of horticultural crops and wild flora. Indeed, they are an invaluable resource to the Maltese agricultural community and to the environment. But what exactly constitutes beekeeping? Large colonies of bees are kept in man-made hive boxes. Inside these boxes, bees lay their eggs, store their collected nectar and pollen, and produce honey. While each colony contains around 40 to 80,000 bees, only one of them is the queen. The queen bee is the largest bee in the hive, as well as the only adult. And since she's the only one mature enough to reproduce, it's the other bee's job to serve her, follow her, and protect her. The bees are regularly inspected. This is done for many reasons, such as to see how the queen is performing, to see if there is enough brood in the hive, and also to check for signs of diseases. The Maltese honeybee, also known as Apis mellifera rutneri, is small in size and particularly dark in color. Compared to other bees, it has significantly shorter legs and wings and has the widest abdomen from all species. Before opening the hives, beekeepers smoke the bees to calm them down. The Maltese honeybee is also a highly productive species that has adapted very well to its local conditions. It has been observed working even during hot days and in strong winds. Research and experiments have been carried out to further study this particular bee from a morphological and molecular perspective. <laughs> <laughs>